Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. So as you would have seen um, way back before Christmas, this is my Trek 6000. It's uh, an exact replica of the first bike that I basically ever started to ride trials on 25 years ago. And in that first video, I literally just rode it as it came to me. Basically, I didn't make any changes to it at all. I think I like maybe just pump the tires up and tweak the brakes a little bit to make it work. But for this video, what I've done is I've put on at some expense, as many of the old parts as I can remember having on my bike, so the bits that I modified it to, to make it a bit more trialsy, which includes this really nice DMR bash ring, Club Bruce pedals, uh, DCD, lizard skin, um, some slightly chunkier tires, I've changed the rear brake pads to be a bit better, crud catcher mud guard up front, and I've taken all the reflectors and everything else off of it, so it's just this is almost exactly like the bike was that I had 25 years ago, and I'm really excited to see how it basically rolls around. So I'm going to go out and uh, see what it's like. Thank you very much for watching these videos. Please do go and subscribe, and let's see what I can do on the first bike that I ever had again.
Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, just have that come up. So, we did. I was doing the last bit of this video. <laughs> Either way, um, I'm really uh, hoping everyone <laughs> the joys of vlogging in fatherhood. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching this video of me riding the Trek 6000. Um, I had so much fun on it. E even though, obviously, in this video I didn't do anything near as big as what my capabilities are if I was on, like, the Krukas or something like that. But at the same time, I would honestly say this bike rolled over a few things better than the Krukas would have done. I think actually riding along some of those skinnies, the, um, the, the, the thin fallen trees, I think this bike was actually better than my Krukas because my Krukas would have been really stiff and all over the place and stuff and it's got the great big long stems that's all bending in weird ways and stuff. But I really hope everyone enjoyed this video and I think for next time I'm going to have to do something slightly different because I was thinking basically what I could do with the Trek is to just to use um, all the parts that are off like the Ashton or something and um, then I thought hang on a second it would be great you know to like put a set of Echo Urban Forks and like a really high engagement freewheel on and really nice V-brakes and stuff and see what the bike's like you know because I had that on the cheap bike when it, with the Specialized I built it up with those parts and the Ashton I built them up with the same parts again and I thought hang on a second this is the first bike that I ever owned and I remember when I was younger thinking like Oh, all the parts that I would buy if I could, if I had the money, and all the things, the upgrades that I would make to it. So that's given me an idea for the next video. So if you haven't already, please do go and subscribe. There's going to be some really cool stuff coming up soon. And I will see you guys next week for whatever we've got then. All right, thanks very much. Cheers, bye-bye.